All right, so here's how I do it. We'll take the diff and uh, put it in the front half of the diff case. And what I'm also going to do is, uh, the reason I put on the rear cap is because you want the the diff or the, the diff itself to be in the same position that it's going to be in the car. Um, so we achieved that by putting this on, putting in the screws, and it, it presses the diff all the way in as far as it's going to be while you're running it. If you were to do this test with without the rear cap, the diff may not be seating all the way in. Um, and it, if that's the case, then the gear mesh itself is not fully engaged. So if you were to try to set it out here and then put on the cap and then cinch this down, then that extra pressure is going to actually push, push the gears closer together. Um, so once you have the diff in place, grab the out drives. Uh, I'm not going to put the screws in just because of time. Um, grab the two out drives, and then you're going to take the, uh, the input drive and wiggle it back and forth. And this allows you to test the, the mesh itself. So I'm going to push it from the opposite side, a little bit more pressure up here on the opposite side. And you can see the, the mesh actually got worse. I'm going to apply a little bit more pressure on this bottom side, and it got tighter. So I know I'm going to have to put a shim on this side to take up the gap um, by pushing the diff um, this way. Okay, so now that I know which side that I need the shim to go on, I will put the shim on. And I know that I needed to um, put it on this side from the last video. So what I always do is I, I start with the, um, the shim side first and just kind of wedge it down, sort of wedge it. I'll use my thumb to kind of hold the shim in place. So no matter where I go, it's, it's always going to be in the same place. And you can see there's a little lip in the diff case. So you just kind of press it down in there. And then you kind of spin the diff to get the mesh. It does take a little bit. And then push that little shim down in there to make sure that it's seated properly. And then, just like we put the diff in on the shim side first, I also um, kind of angle the, the diff case. And just kind of fold it over and then bring it in on the other side. And then it's in there with perfectly. And you can kind of do that little test again where you know you grab the out drives and kind of shift it side to side. I've got no gap. And then hold the out drives. And I've got just a little bit of gap in my mesh. And it's ready to go. Okay, so the last thing that you would check, now we've got the screws in, so this thing is uh, together and shimmed, is what you'll do is you'll take, um, take the out drive and spin it. You can see that it's spinning freely, there's no hard grinding. Um, you'll know that if your mesh is too tight, well the first thing you'll know is whenever you grab it, um, if there's zero play, or if there's you know, there should be some play. If, you're, if there's some play, then you're good. But if there's no play, and then you go to to do this, and there's an audible grinding, or it doesn't spin freely, then you've shimmed it too tight, and you need to go back and readjust.